Hello, and welcome back to this playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. I am Scutlist, and we are continuing with our second visits to the various Disney worlds. This part of the game can feel a bit filler, huh? But our objective this episode is the second visit to Agrabah. We are continuing with the plot that is loosely based on the return of Jafar. I actually liked both of the sequels to Disney's Aladdin, which is kind of odd because I'm generally not a big fan of Disney's sequels. Really, don't get me started on the sequel to Hunchback of Notre Dame. Really, please don't. Since when could the peddler teleport? Ugh. What's going on? Can't believe it! That stupid peddler let Jafar out of the lamp! Jafar? Jafar? <laughs> Give me the magic lamp, Anathan! And now, street rats, I bid you farewell! Crush those urchins! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, as Iago says, we're going to the desert Vexen's absent silhouettes. Maybe I'll look at that off camera. Anyway, as Iago says, Jafar is in the desert ruins. That's an area we haven't been to yet. But to get there, we have to leave the city. is all about I mean how can you leave me on the sidelines at a time like this what do you say kid hey genie Sora want to see a little something I call sandstorm sweep take it away genie I like her sir you know one lousy sandstorm it's just too easy Challenge next time, AL. Oh, that felt like a kind of filler cutscene, but the way is clear now.
We have a bit of an unsightly chase minigame to be doing now. Now what do we do? I think I mentioned it at earlier points in this playthrough, but I'm just not a big fan of Square Enix's minigames. Uh, let's see... Oh, I see a puzzle piece! Uh, but we have to do an enemy encounter first. Get between me and a puzzle piece only if you want to die. And now for Jafar's shadow or whatnot. It will occasionally stop to cast spells, just hit him once and he'll stop. I think at the end of the chase we have to do a full combo on him. Ah uh, yes, here we are. I mean that's technically not the end of the chase, but the end of that segment. Ah, three puzzle pieces already. This whole chase sequence feels a bit filler, but that's it. there's actually something of a good reason for that. Because Jafar is actually just trying to distract us right now. Is this a new Final Mix thing? I don't recall fi having to find any switches. Anyway, uh, the map and the images we saw would say the first puzzle piece switch, I mean, was right under here. And they all turned red, so I guess fire? Man, they can follow tenaciously, can't they? As much as of a waste of time as it may seem, I may need to defeat every enemy, all enemies as they appear. Okay, this is getting annoying. We need to thin this crowd out. 
Oh, a level up's always nice. See the next switch. I see one over there. Up, oh, enemies. This one is thunder. I need to wait for my magic to come back. I don't have an other equipped either. Oh, um. And about that last switch. I think I saw it. But let's take care of these two first. Let's see. Yes, I did see it. By process elimination, Blizzard. And we have a time limit. Let's get to moving. And let's not get stuck on corners. You guys aren't worth the time. Okay, so now we are inside in a nice set of treasure chests. One of these has to be a map. And there's the map. What could this one be? Uh, armor accessory? Oh, oh no, it's the last torn page. We can finish up Win we should be able to finish up the Winnie the Pooh scenario now. Anyway, let's get to going. You sure this is it? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, after the chase minigame, we have an escape minigame. Though I actually think the controls controls work better here than they did in the chase. Now, if the fortune teller would be feel so inclined as to stay still... This section does not work does not work very well with enemies with bulkier health bars though. Yeah. 
Uh, why have we stopped? We're supposed to be rushing to the palace. got away. But alright, we're done. Get some rest, Carpet. You earned it. Come on, let's get your far! And who asked you? The palace is through there. Hurry! Okay, let's restore our HP, and I shouldn't have to tell you that we're going for the palace gates. will belong to me, while you, <laughs> you, my queen, shall weep at my side for all eternity. Oh, please. <laughs> right about now, your precious Aladdin is whispering your name with his last breath. What was that you were saying, Jafar? You dare defy me, you useless bird! <gasps> Ow! Iago! You'll all be joining him very soon! You know, it almost looks like Iago died right there, but... Spoiler, he didn't. Okay, our fight with Genie Jafar, which isn't as interesting as you may think it could be. Okay, first order of business. Our target is his head, but before we do that, it's actually a good idea to attack his abdomen region, because that will stun him. After he's stunned, hold on. You can go to his little t tail thing and spin it around him, which will actually make, make him stunned for even longer. Take this om opportunity to dish out a few combos onto his head. And you can attack those orbs on his hands to shut them to shut them off, basically. But for right now, I'm just going to accept the damage until I can take his abdomen out again. You don't technically have to attack the abdomen and do the reaction command on his tail thing, but it does make this fight a lot better. Otherwise, you're going to have a pretty constant barrage get getting in your way as you're attacking his head. Oh yes, and he does this. 
I don't think you can attack Jafar right here, but if you, but getting, I think getting close to him makes it end a little quicker. But during this, it's, during this event, he's going to be throwing parts of buildings at you. Okay, let's take the chance to get after his abdomen again. And then the tail. Okay, this should be our opp our opportunity to end the fights. And an upgrade to our fire spell. I think it's Fyraga now. Some new moves to show off, too. Not kidding. You still in your head. Who's gonna fix Agrabah? Oh, yeah! One super duper spruced up Agrabah coming right up. You won't even recognize the place when I'm through with it. Just like it was, please. Really? Same old, same old. All right. Oh, yeah! Next time, let me put in a few swimming pools, okay? A uh, new Keyblade. <sighs> I guess Agrabah's all right now. Yeah, thanks, guys. Hey, you behave yourself. Got it? I most definitely got it. No more looking out for number one. I'm reformed. I want to be a good friend like Genie, but I can't do anything to help you. What kind of a friend is that? Oh, no. It's not like that, Iago. Friends don't have to do stuff. As long as we have fun hanging out together, that's all that matters. So, what do you guys do for fun? <laughs> uh, that's not quite what I meant. Well, anyway... Ow! I think! Gorsh, Iago! I hope you didn't hurt yourself. Well, <coughs> at least I can still fly. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh! Is that my cue? Am I on? Come on, Al. Let me build a freeway or something. Uh, everything's fine. Don't panic. Genie? But I can't hold it any longer! <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Sora, Donald, Goofy, you guys are too much. If you're ever in the mood for some more cosmic razzle dazzle, give me a shout, okay? You got it. Well, you've done it again, Sora. Don't forget it, guys, okay? I won't. And Sora, about that friend of yours, the one you're looking for. You'll find him. Trust me. And that's it for Agarbaugh. Personally speaking, I think it's the most unsatisfying second visit to a Disney World in this game.
I much prefer the way Iago redeems himself in the movie. A lot more impressive than just taking one, one hit that probably would have been survived anyway. But anyway, that's it for Agrabah. Next video, uh, the original plan was Halloween Town for the next video, but since I got the final page for the Winnie the Pooh storybook, let's finish that up next time. So then, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the Hundred Acre Woods.